everybody welcome back this is Zaina today we'll be practicing a beginner's flow so this if this is your first time attending a yoga class or like you're new to yoga this is the perfect place for you today we'll be building a block or two for lifting the back up and assisting us if you don't have a block because you're home and you're still new to yoga you don't have to go and buy one all we can use is a sturdy hard uh, cover book like a dictionary or I don't know any book that's hard and sturdy so we'll be starting in child's pose we'll go slow and we'll repeat the same move a couple of times before we move on by the end of this class you'll be able to do Surya Namaskar A which is Sun Salutations uh, number A and there is number B there are different types so we'll be doing the basic moves of yoga that will help you to attend Go enjoy any other vinyasa flow. Please listen to your body, take it easy, and do it to your own personal degree. Okay, let's get started. So first we'll just start with child's pose. Please sit on our knees like that. Okay, knees hip width distance apart, and then we open them a little bit wider so they're wider, like shoulder width apart, or big toes are touching. Slowly, slowly we start to sit down on our Heels. That's the first stage. This is all relaxing pose. Your ankles are, oh, sorry, your toes are together and your heel, your knees are apart. Walk your hands all the way to the front of the mat and lower your head down. Now, if this is your first practice, probably you might, your sit bones might be sitting a little bit up and that's fine. All you have to think of is to descend your hips all the way to your heels. Pushing the weight back, adding more weight to your sit bones and to your hips to lower it down. With time, you can lower it down. So just sit here and relax. Breathe. How wide your legs? Some practitioners, yogis, they like it narrow with their hip width apart. Your knees, or some like it wide. For me, I prefer if we make them wide enough to fill our uh, chest. And that when I breathe, I feel my uh, belly touching my inner thighs. Of course, if you open your knees apart, this will stretch the inside of your hips, of your thighs. So keep breathing. Don't worry about lots of instructions, it's just alignment for your safety. We'll start to learn how to link our breath with the movement. So keep we'll keep on hearing inhale, exhale, but that's how we are guiding you to link a movement with our breath. Now we're a little bit settled in the pose. We will try to activate the focus on our hands. What about our hands? What are we going to do with the hands? Imagine your palms are pressing the floor. Imagine you're grabbing some sand from the beach or somewhere. So your hands are active. And when your hands are active, what happens? Your elbows lift off the ground. As for the shoulders, we don't want them close to the ears. We want them to be away from the ears, lengthening in the back. This is your relaxing pose. If you want, you can even have your hands by your side or you can just lay on your elbows. And if you want to act more, you can just activate your hands. Whenever you feel tired, please return to your child's pose. It regulates your breath and lowers your heart rate. So your breath is your indicator here. If it gets choppy, you need to back off a little bit. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Yoga breathes through the nose only unless it's stated out. So we take inhales through the nose and exhale out through the nose. Shift your awareness to your breath. Notice how your belly expands on the inhale. 
Now let's go try to release all the air out through your nose and the exhale. One more time. So you slowly lift your forehead off the ground, now look forwards and try to come up on four. We'll put our hands just under our shoulders, stacked. And same with both hands and same for the hips. Your knees are stacked under your hips. Your belly is being activated and your back is neutral position. So your spine is long and there is no arch or rounding in the back. Try to activate by pressing the ground away. Take a deep inhale, that's a neutral position. Now we're gonna stay here. And on your exhale, I want you to lower your belly button, lower your belly down and slowly, slowly inhale, open. Just leave your gaze to the front. You don't have to do anything with your neck. Just relax your neck, feel it in your back, it's here, like there is, an, oh, there is a valley in your back, there is a nice arch. You can inhale here, and on your exhale, we'll do the opposite. So we'll try to tuck in our belly button, as if we're pulling our belly button to the spine. So pull, 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 and press the floor away, you can even come on your fingertips if you like. Exhale, bear in a cat. And inhale because this is a cow pose. We arch the back, we lift the neck, relax, and we need to strain. Take a deep inhale, opening the chest, let your collar, collarbone smile. And exhale, round in. Imagine you're like a cat or you're on a bridge. And there's a big ship's passing under. Inhale time into cow pose, arching the back, lifting the head up, and exhale, rounding the back, inhale, arch, exhale, round, two more on your own. Coming back to neutral spine, keep your hands where they are. Now keep your hips closed. And what do you mean by their hips closed? They're in the same at the same level. So we keep the hips closed and we try to lift our right leg, extend it all the way straight. Abs are activated, they're engaged. So the body is all working as one. Take a deep inhale, hold it here, point your toes down. So this is an open hip and this is a closed hip. It's just like an open door and a closed door. Take an inhale. Maybe you could try to round the back like the cat position and bring your knee to touch your nose or anywhere in your face. Inhale, we extend and push. Imagine there is a wall that you want to slide it back or something. Push it there. Inhale. Bring your knee all the way around the back to the nose. And exhale, push, keeping the hips squared. Inhale. And exhale. We'll try one more on your own. Keep your leg extended. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, just for a second, you can hold it by extending your left hand all the way as if you want to shake hands or someone. So just like that, this is a balancing pose. Just notice your heartbeat. It will just go up immediately. Take a deep inhale, on the exhale, lower down both your hand and your leg. Okay, take a deep inhale here. On your exhale, extend the left leg. Remember, 
the hips are at the same level. Here you can use a block or the ball on your sit bones on your hips. And to make sure if the block stays there, it means, <laughs> sorry, if the block stays there, it means your hips are leveled. We have lots of sensors in our body, but the proprioception in our body is so active, you don't even need to look in a mirror. You just feel yourself. You can even touch yourself if you want. You don't need anything, a mirror, no one else to help you can feel it. So take a deep inhale here. On your exhale, try to round the back like a cat and try to bring your knee as, much, as far as close to your nose. Inhale, press back. Exhale, knee to low. Inhale, activating your belly. Exhale, your core. Inhale, one more. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Keep on flex and try to extend your right head. Hold here, we're shaking hands, I'm touching the plant. Okay, take a deep inhale, slowly, slowly lower it down. Now I want you to tuck your toes, keep your knees where they are, and bring your chest all the way to your thighs. So you're like in child's pose position, but you're not down and your, uh, your feet are tucked, toes. Lift your thighs with your chest together all the way up. So your chest is still with your thighs. That's our downward facing dog. Here, we want to make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart and shoulders are pushing away from the ears. You can stay here or slowly, slowly keep your chest where it is. Try to extend your heels, your legs, letting your heels touch the floor. Your legs are hip width distance apart. Imagine you're just squeezing a block between your thighs. So if your heels, they won't touch the floor, that's okay. All you have to do is imagine like from your crown of the head to the hips, to the back, the energy is going up and from your hips all the way down, trying to touch, putting some weight on your feet. As for the hands, I want you to feel some weight on your fifth and thumb finger and your index finger. Imagine your, your triceps are trying to push something away. So when you activate your triceps, your elbows are looking to each other, you're in external rotation. Relax here. This is downward facing dog. It's very common in yoga, especially on vinyasa classes. It's a, main, it's a main component of yoga. You'll find lots of uh, downward facing dog. It's just like a transition takes you back and forth. So there are different ways to get to downward dog. The first one, as you can see, will go down, relax in child's pose, extend. Remember the child's pose we did at the beginning of the class, active palms, active hands. And then we tuck, we keep the hands in place, we tuck our toes, and we lift back to downward facing dog. So the distance, you can see, it's further apart from the one we started on all four. Second way we can start is by laying down on all four, sliding our knees back. We're in easy plank position, or plank on knees. You can have your plank on knees, keep your toes tucked, and then press back all the way to downward facing dog. That's another position that determines the distance between your toes and your hands. Okay, now bend your knees to your chest one more and walk your hands all the way to your toes. Keep the bend in the knees, grab the opposite elbows and then relax your head. You can have the 
extend if when the relative to you so you can keep it bent or you can try to extend a little bit keeping a slight bend on the knees it's way from side to side just relax here So now you're at the back of the mat. Okay, now release your hands. Maybe you have very stiff hamstrings and that's why you're having bent in our knees so your palms would reach the floor. And if they want to reach, you can use your blocks under your you can use blocks or books as we mentioned and grip the floor and try to extend your legs a little bit keeping it just close to your thighs so when you feel that like you're rounding the back just bend the knees to avoid the rounding or lengthen in the spine i'll be using the block on the high position to show you for demonstration purposes only familiar with what I'm saying. So here I'm, ex I'm bending my knees. My chest is lying on my thighs. My back is lengthening. There's no rounding in the back. And my hands are resting all the way on the blocks. The head is heavy, so you don't need to strain or activate any muscle. As for your weight, try not to keep it on the heels. Try to distribute it on the four corners of your feet. So try to have some weight in the front of your toes. This will help you to extend more through the hamstrings. Now, on your next inhale, I want you to slide your hands just below your knees, lengthening the back. Your core is active. Lengthen the back. Shoulders are away from the ears. Crown of the head is relaxed, so you don't need to tuck your chin and do what's going on around. Just keep looking down. Relax and extend. That's the inhale here. And on your exhale, lower down, bend the knees maybe, or lower down. Inhale, slide your hands just below your knees and extend, open the chest. And exhale, lower down. You can bend your knees, relax. Inhale, just below the knees, extending it halfway flat back. And exhale, lower. Try to reduce the bend in the knees here because your body is getting the work. Practice. Inhale. Exhale. Release them through the nose. Inhale through the nose. And hold it here. On your exhale, I want you to place your hands on your waist. Your elbows are facing the ceiling, so your chest is wide open. Your shoulder blades are together, and you're squeezing. Take a deep inhale here. Bend the knees and extend all the way. Great. So here we've learned how to get off from lower position to standing. That's nice. That's major. It's very important in Vinyasa to learn how to stand up safely. Okay. Now, keep walking to the front of the mat. We learn here how to go from, uh, how to circle the hands up to the air and then come back to the heart. It's a simple move. But before to stand in Tadasana. Tadasana is mountain pose. It is mountain pose as in many states. You should be grounded, solid, and firm. To be able to find the right position in the mountain, I need you to shift the weight, keep your legs at one distance apart, and shift your weight all the way to your toes. Imagine you're gonna fall. Keep your eyes open. Keep your heels on the floor, so try not to lift them up. Just come forwards. And maybe go to the right side. Now try to shift the weight back to the right, all the way back to the center. If you fall, it's okay. And then to the left, and then forward. And then come back, try to get in the center. If that was a circle, your body was a circle. And you're in the center. Try to find where is the best point to relax in the back. If 
there's a slight bend in the knees. So the knees are not hyperextended or you find the knees bad. There's a slight bend. Activating, shoulders roll them up and down in the other way. Opening the chest, hands by your side, your palms facing forward. The crown of the head is in line with the spine, so you never really get fully forward or taking it on like that. We're just staying in line, engaging and activating. We're pressing down. Circle the hands all the way up. Now, circling the uh, hands up, I don't want them to be in the line. I want them just to be here where they're just relaxed and down. Inhale here, exhale, hands to the heart in prayer position. That's a prayer position. Inhale, circle the hands up. Exhale, prayer position. Just we're making a big circle with the hands and to have Surya Namaskar A, which is have some salutation. When you open those, take a deep inhale, circle your hands up overhead, or on your exhale, bend your knees, your blocks are next to you, beside you, just lower down all the way to the floor. That's level two for your blocks. Inhale, come halfway flat back, your hands under the knees, exhale, fall. And now we want to learn something which is how to stand from forward fold to Tadasana. So keeping the bend in your knees, open your hands to the side. Now keep your hands in prayer. Take a deep inhale, using your hands to lift up, using the bend way to lift up, grounding with your feet all the way up in one loop. Inhale up, exhale, hands to the heart. Let's do that one more time. So circle the hands up overhead and on an inhale. Exhale, we fold. Remember the weight, it's very important, and the position of your feet. Your feet should be parallel to each other. So try not to open your toes out. Keep your toes in line. Your knees are on top of your toes. Take an inhale, halfway flat back. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, open and rise, pressing the feet down. Rise all the way up and hands to the heart. We'll do it one more time before we go and learn something new. Inhale, circle the hands up overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down. Activating your quads. So if you're extending your legs, try. If you're flexible by nature, you can just try to flex your quads to protect your knees. And that's when you don't need the blocks. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, hands to the heart. Great job. Now we'll use the book or the block if you do have any by chance. Keep our legs hip with distance apart. Place the block between your thighs. Remember, your toes are parallel to each other. Okay? And they're in line, just like the mat, parallel to the mat, like just four legs. Take a deep inhale here and keep your hands to the heart. On your exhale, try to push your sit bones all the way. You're sitting on a chair, and that's what we call chair pose. Chest lifted and core engaged. Lengthen your spine. Sit down, squeeze the blocks. Now here, the weight is shifting backwards. So forward fold, we're shifting forwards. Here, we're shifting back. I want you to see your toes. Hold them with a wiggle and maybe lift them up off the ground. Take a deep inhale, stand up, exhale. I want you to sit. Inhale, stand up, exhale, sit in chair. Now take the block off. Let's try it without the block. So inhale, hands to the heart, exhale, sit down in chair pose. Activating. Remember the block I used to squeeze it without keeping the knees in. Lifting your toes. Lengthen the spine, hands to the heart. Take a deep inhale, stand up. Good job. Let's do it one more. Exhale, and then slowly, slowly inhale. If you want to add more, you can just extend your hands. Take a deep inhale, circle the hands up, and on your exhale, sit down. Nice. 
Inhale, stand up, hands to the heart. Now take an inhale, circle the hands up overhead. We will fall all the way to the ground. So bend the knees, chest to thighs. Extend and lengthen. You don't need to strain your neck. Your head is already heavy. He's doing, it's doing the work. Inhale, halfway flat back. Extend and lengthen. On your exhale, fold one more. Now, take your left leg all the way to the back of the mat and lower it down. So your knee is on the mat. Let's see if you're hurt, if you have an injured knee here, please do pad your knees. And I want you to slide the knee in a way the, knee, the top of the knee is touching the mat, not the knee ball itself. So I know it's deep hip flexor, so you can go there or you can just pad by having your mat, towel, blanket, whatever, and just relax there. Untuck your toes, hips are still squared in here. Your knee, let's check our front leg. Our knee is on top of our ankle. We can use our blocks, our friends, they are best friends of best friends. They will help us deepen our practice. It's very smart and intelligent to use a block. Okay, keep the chest up and lift it. Take a deep inhale here. On your exhale, bring the right hand on your thigh so it's away from the knee. And then the other, and try to push without the assist of a prop. So try to push your chest here, lifting your lower abdomen up. Inhale here. Maybe try to raise your hands up overhead and hold. Nice. Inhale. On your exhale, lower down. Now tuck your back leg and lift up. Let's try this with crescent lunge. We'll do runner's lunge first and then we'll go to crescent lunge. So hips are square. Your back leg could be slightly bent when we stand up, but now it's extended. I feel the lines of energy here. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, bring your right hand on your thigh, and then follow by the left hand. Maybe you can bend the back leg a little bit and square your hips. So imagine if you have headlights, they're facing forwards. Take a deep inhale, pull in, chest closed. And try maybe to extend your hands up overhead. Inhale here, exhale, lower down your hands and bring your back leg, which is left leg, all the way to meet your right. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, hands to the heart. Are we ready to the other side? Let's go. Take a deep inhale, circle the hands up overhead. Your legs are, your feet are hip width distance apart. On your exhale, bend the knees and fold. Chest to thighs. Inhale, extend, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold in. And now, on your exhale, you can hold the block. You take the right leg back all the way to the back of the mat. Lower your knee. Remember to pad your knee if you have any injuries or if you feel it's like a hard or solid ground. So if it's, the, your mat is not well padded, then you might need to pad your knee. Untuck your back toes. Make sure your hips are square. Keep your chest lifted. Nice. We're in low lunge. We take a deep inhale. We take our left hand on our thigh and then followed by the right and we open the chest, lifting knee. Inhale here and exhale. Inhale, circle the hands up overhead. Exhale, lower the hands to your blocks. Tuck your back leg, which is right leg, and lift up. We didn't check our knee. Let's check our knee this time. Our knee, left knee is stacked on top of the ankle. We're pressing on all our five fingers. Our back leg is active. We take a deep inhale. We bring your left hand in and then right hand. Inhale, one more. And lift your hands up. Remember, you can bend and keep your hips in line, lifting, zipping. 
and then lower it down. Bring your back leg all the way forwards. Feel your legs, feel the difference. Take a deep breath in, inhale, halfway to that back, and then exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now, we will be doing, we did great. We learned how to do crescent lunge, we learned how to do forward folds and uh, chair pose. That's great. Now we'll be learning how to do plank pose and cobra. So we're standing up, still. We'll go down all the way to our front downward dog. So take a deep inhale, circle the hands up overhead. And that's what we call the vinyasa flow. And on your exhale, remember to bend the knees. To keep the blocks beside you. And fold. Inhale, extend the legs halfway back, back. Exhale to fold. Take your right leg back, lower it down. Take your left leg back and lower it down. Lower your palms to the ground. Place your blocks away from you. Okay, now I want you to slide your knees back so that you're in like a slide position. So you're not on all four. You are sliding your knees down. Okay. Untuck your toes or keep untuck, it's okay. So we want to have like a slide, tailbone tucked in. We're pushing the ground away. Our hands are under the shoulders stacked at their hip width distance apart. We take a deep inhale and bend the elbows in line with the body. So here, I want you to bring your block or book and then try not to have your shoulders below that block. So if you put the block here or the book under your chest, hands are here, we take a deep inhale, we're in plank, we'll do chaturanga, so our chest is touching here, or maybe it's not touching, it's okay, just a support to our hands that lift up, that's chaturanga, okay, so now bend and lower down all the way to the floor, untuck your toes, Keep your hands where they are, to the lower ribs. Your legs are wider than the hips. The wider, the easier on the lower back. The narrower, the more on the lower back. So keep it to your own personal degree. Roll the shoulders away. Take and lower the head down. Roll them one more. Two more. Three. Now relax. Keep your palms where they are. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, just lift a little bit your chest. So imagine your hands, your elbows are in place, and then lower down. Imagine your collarbones are smiling. So take a deep inhale, and your, still your forehead is on the floor. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down, so we're not going to hot. Exhale, lower up. Sorry, lift up. Keeping the shoulder away, opening the chest. Inhale and exhale. We have a tendency to do this one, do this. No, we don't want it. Just a small cobra, small baby cobra. Two more. Let's do three more, more on your own. Inhale down and exhale. Activate your core. Great. And now, lower your head down. Press your weight up onto all four. Tuck your toes and lift back to downward facing dog. Remember, your legs are hip width distance apart. Your toes are in line with your heels, so you're not supposed to see your heels. If you see them, take your heels away, hide them behind your toes. Just take them out a little bit because they keep in usually. As for your hands, they're shoulder width apart, shoulders away, and the weight on the index and on the thumb. Take an inhale here, 
bend your knees and I want you to walk one step at a time or maybe bigger steps all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway flat back, extending the legs and exhale, bend the knees. If you have any back problems, please make sure to consult your position and get the green light before you practice. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, hands to the heart. Great job. So now we know the vinyasa flow. We want to have a breath or two. We'll do something else. We keep our rock swipes beside us. Turn to the right side of the mat and open your legs wide. Your toes are in line with your heels. Take a deep inhale. I want you to interlace your hands behind your back and just open your chest a little bit. Inhale here, exhale, come all the way, release the hands down and come on your blocks. So we're inhaling here one more after your exhale. Inhale here, exhale, start to bend your elbows. Bending the elbows, extending the back, lengthening your back, not extending, sorry. As for your feet i want them to be active the weight is evenly distributed on both sides so the wider you go the more stretch in the inner thighs will be you can stay here or maybe if you have no room you can lower the block or maybe the book get a smaller book or maybe keep your hands on the floor and the weight is equally distributed on four corners of your feet. Inhale here, exhale deeply through the nose. Relax your neck and need to strong. Now slowly, slowly take an inhale, lift halfway flat back. Bring one of your blocks or books and place it just under your nose, your face. Place your right hand on top of that book or block or whatever you have and then try to place your left hand on your left waist and turn opening your chest to the left side of the of your of your body. Dipping your right leg in place or try not to drag your right leg. Push your leg back. Take an inhale and extend. And then lower down. Let's do that with the other side. So we'll place our left hand just under our nose, right hand on our right waist. We take an inhale here, and on our exhale, keeping our left leg firm on the ground, turning all the way to the right side of our body. Maybe we can extend the hand overhead, or maybe we can place it on our waist. Inhale, come back. Exhale, fold. Now place your hands on your waist. Take a deep inhale, extend and lengthen. Elbows are pointing to the ceiling. Your shoulder blades are squeezing. Your legs are curling. Maybe you can have a slight bend. And you stand up. Great up. Now I want you to come to the top of the mat and lower your knees down. I come to an all four position. So if you're not new to fitness, you'll be able to do the side plank, but we'll do it in a basic position. Take a deep inhale, we'll start with the left side. So take your left knee out and bring your right leg behind in line with your body. Your left hand is under the shoulder. So you have three points of contact here in your body, and that's your foundation. If you hold them firm and sturdy and distribute your balance, you want to wobble. Take a deep inhale, activating the core, pushing up and opening your chest into slide the back. Let's hold it here for a couple of breaths. Here I don't want the chest to be caving in or opening up. It's just in line with the 
bike and there is a nice lit nice barge in here at the deep lower side of the bike lifting your hips you can keep your knees here or you can slide them more away you can have side plank in your practice you can just go ahead and extend both legs take a deep inhale and exhale down the hand down so your foot down on the base of the floor so you can slide back to plank on our knees, open the right leg out, and turn the left leg all the way behind the body. Hands are stacked. We're pushing the foot away, opening the chest to the inner line, and looking your hand at the sky. You can gaze up and look down. Arch. Standing on our knees. Our toes could be tapped or untapped, but it doesn't matter for today, we're not going to. So try to find your balance. And that's it. Take a deep inhale, bring your hands to your waist. So your thumbs are to the back, the lower back, and your other fingers. But there are different positions. You can place them here or you can place them on your hips. It's up to you. For now, we're going to do place our hands on our glutes. Our elbows are going to go back. We take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, I want you to imagine your palms are pushing your glutes, your sit bones, all the way forward. And you're lengthening them, lengthening them, not arching or not dropping, but lengthening. So if you're being pulled all the way to back. So push. Your knees are hip width distance. You can use the foot in between or the block in between your legs and squeeze it. Stay here so it's a simple back bend. And exhale. You want to go deep even if it's in your practice. Try Straighten and lock your toes. Sit down. Good job. We're going to cobra now. So we'll slide away to plank and from plank we will lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck our toes, roll the shoulders away, and inhale, lift up, exhale, and then slowly, slowly push, tuck the toes, and roll to downward facing. Take a deep inhale, and on your exhale, try to bring your left leg all the way forward, and the right, and then the lower back and neck. Inhale, right, push back back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, and hands to the heart. Close your eyes, and shift your awareness inward, and see how you feel now. Check in with your body. Bring the by your side, remember the spot that we were looking for, try to find it again. You're as strong and grounded as a mountain. Now we'll put everything together, so we'll take a deep inhale, we circle the hands up overhead. On our exhale, we can place the hands to the heart and sit in a chair. Pose. Inhale, extend the hands up overhead. Exhale, keep the knees bent. Lower the chest to thighs and lower into forward fold. Inhale, extend. Halfway plank back. Exhale, your left leg back all the way to the back of the mat. If you were able to do runner's lunge and you felt comfortable with it, then go ahead. Otherwise, you will start with low lunge.
knees down on the floor. Take a deep inhale, right hand on thigh, left hand on thigh. Inhale, rise. Exhale, I want you to lower down and bring your left leg all the way forwards. Let me take the vinyasa. Inhale, up, big flat back. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's do that one more. Inhale, circle the hands up overhead. Exhale, sit down in a chair. Inhale, circle the hands up to the sky. Exhale, lower the chest to thighs and then try to extend a little bit. Folding forward. Inhale, half the flat back, hands under the knees. Exhale, bend the knees and take your right leg back. Your body is not symmetrical, so maybe you can go to low lunge here or to the other side. Make sure the alignment knee is on top of the ankle. It's not caving in, it's in line. Second so toe. Back leg is active. Press in, take a deep inhale, bring one hand up, followed by the other, maybe bend your back leg and inhale, rise. Exhale, let's fold. And now this time we'll take it to downward facing dog. So both legs are pressing me back. Remember, if your heels are off the ground, bend the knees. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, lower the knees down. Shift the weight and lower down all the way to your belly. Inhale, lower the shoulders and lift it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, press to downward facing dog. Inhale here, lower your knees down, keep your toes up, and lift up all the way to the sky. On your exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Inhale, circle and open. Inhale, the pose. Let's come back. Inhale, circle the hands up. Exhale, sit down. Great job. And now we have one more thing to learn. It's called boat pose. This is a very popular pose as well in yoga. We'll start with the nice W shape maybe. Hands behind our, just under the shoulders, behind our back, opening the chest. We want to activate. Imagine you have a ball here or an end between your neck and your chest. So I want you to press away, activating your body. So sitting straight and not crunching here, you're nice and tall. Take a deep inhale. Now try to extend your hands forward. You can stay here or maybe try to lift one leg as in 90 degrees or a little bit more than 90 degrees. Lower that leg down, lift the other one. Good. Keep the toes flexed. Let's do four more on each side. Inhale in center, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Great job. Now slowly, slowly lower down on vertebrae at the top all the way to the ground. Lying on your back, your feet are to the insole of your feet to the mat. Your fingers are close to your ankle, the back of the ankle, shoulders away from the ears. Your back is imprinted on the mat. Take a deep inhale and your legs are hip distance apart. On your exhale, start to lift a little bit your lower back. Your sacrum and your back. Lift back and then all the way to your shoulder blades. Stay here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Activating your legs. Inhale. In. Relaxing your back. Exhale. And now slowly, slowly, lower it down. Oh. Bring four fingers to the chest. Maybe rock from side to side. 
massage of your gut. Open your hands wide. And I want you to turn to the right side, looking to the left. both shoulders up to the ground, you can cactus your hands or you can use your right hand to have them open in here. Take a deep inhale, bring the legs to the chest, like what she is in the hips open to the other side, gazing into the opposite direction. Inhale, bring more legs to the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. You did great. You did wonderful today. You're very good to do things and you had such an open and flexible mind. You are going to change and the transformation started right now, right here, today, on the mat. You did wonderful. You should be proud of yourself now. Slowly, slowly release your legs all the way. Lying down on the back. Your legs are wider than the hips and they're falling apart, wide apart. Arms facing the sky, shoulders away from the ears, so adjust yourself. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. And keep your eyes open. Press, prepare to close your eyes. Stay still, try not to move. I'll be calm, I'll be quiet for a while. So I'm still there. Keep breathing. Scan your body from tip to toe and feel the difference when you've started the practice and it right now. So slowly bring your knees all the way to the chest and roll to your right side. Keep your eyes closed, your forehead on the ground with yourself. Keeping your eyes closed, press with your 
left hand all the way um, up to any seated position you have or makes you feel comfortable in. Bring the hands together to the head, to the heart, and now the head down. Take a deep breath. Through the nose. And exhale, slide it out. One more for the head. Exhale, slide it out. And exhale. Beautiful arms and namaste. Thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed the fundamentals and you will practice. This will help you to practice better and easier. Vinyasa, any vinyasa feel. We'll be following this class with another that has more movements that can help really equip you to any vinyasa flow class. Be well. See you again. Bye.